Uh, for more, let's, uh, we're joined by uh, France 24's Cyril Payen, uh, just back from reporting in northern Mali. You were embedded with the French army as they begin that uh, draw, partial drawdown process uh, towards uh, the city uh, of Gao. Gao, one of the uh, destinations uh, for these goods. Now, uh, if we look at the map here and we can see the city of uh, Kaya, uh, north of Ouagadougou, uh, that's the sticking point. Well, yeah, and I can tell you that we have some uh, talk with the heads of the military, French military in Paris, and they take it extremely seriously because it's a very volatile situation. It's like a nightmare scenario. Look what we're talking about and what we have, the situation we have now is, as you said, is a 60 to 90 trucks convoy coming coming from Ivory Coast to going to transiting to Burkina Faso, going to Niger and uh, going to Gao, where we, we have been spending a few days uh, last last week. And it was uh, stopped by some hundreds of uh, very, very uh, furious uh, mobs anti, uh, carrying an uh, anti-French uh, slogan. And uh, it, it, it's quite quite a situation now. So not yeah, the, the, Let's the, talk the, about those slogans for a second, right. because we heard, for instance, the accusation that the French are in bed with the jihadists? Where does that come from? Well, we're, we're, we went to a very blur situation and go to the next level of a very strong information war, if I may say. Between who and who? Uh, well, this is the, the this is the $1 million question. And when you ask the French military, they don't name name, but basically what we have been experiencing in Bangui, in the Central, uh, the Republican Central African, uh, 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 in, in, in Chad, is the same. The Russians are, are maneuvering. They just try to fill the gap of the French, as you said, uh, changing the, the paradigm of, of the presence after eight years to be to be fighting uh, inside the, the jihadists. So they fill the gap of the French saying, we are moving, we are downsizing uh, the numbers of people on the ground, and the Russians are, even if they don't, they will, ne they will never, they will never uh, say, they will deny, but the Wagner mercenaries are in charge. There is a huge use of, uh, of internet. This is why the Burkina uh, uh, government so conspiracy. No so just to be clear, conspiracy theories spreading on social media, perhaps fueled Very by Russia. So. But the, the base, the basic thing. And we is did see some Russian flags among the well, yeah, yeah. The actual mobs was the the French anti establishment comes of the, the the military deployment, the Burkina Faso people, but the Malian to Niger to uh, in Mauritania in some instance don't understand why there is no consequences on the field, on the ground, by the huge presence of French military and still having so much casualties, especially we're talking about hundreds of people killed in this area uh, in the past, just in the past few months. So they are very angry. Then comes the information uh, war where, I mean, we don't understand who is instrumentalizing whom, but uh, we, if you don't name names, I mean, this is, there, is, there is really something of a, a gap a power uh, feeling, and uh, it comes to Mali, it comes to Burkina Faso, and, and back to the point our the French military is extremely serious, is now we have a convoy of hundreds of people stuck here, which is unique. This is the first time this is ap happening in eight years. And the second thing is it could spread. I, I was in Niamey in the capital of Niger uh, 48 hours ago, and it looks like it could fuel and spread around all the population. So it's extremely yeah, cause, intense. Cause this is very new. We had uh, uh, in Mali a coup, and then a coup within the coup. A right. That sparked uh, some harsh words between uh, France, which And had, still, and very, very harsh words, yes. And, and Bamako. Uh, and then we had the announcement of these um, purchases of uh, uh, Russian military helicopters, visits by the Malian foreign minister to Moscow, this idea that suddenly uh, France's uh, former c uh, colonies who have military alliance agreements could turn their backs on Paris? Well, it's, uh, it's, it looks like it's what's happening on the on the surface now the, the, there is a huge again information war uh, using the, the the social networks people are quite vulnerable to to that so now everybody's trying to downplay to calm down everything this is why the convoy is still around is still there and stuck and they won't be moving until there is some mediation but again it could spread in this extremely uh, hostile and volatile situation and uh, we're talking about thousands of people deployed here and uh, we are downgrading maybe the Barkhane operation, which is the anti-jihadist operation in Sahel. But if to have, you have to evacuate in force in an emergency, is going to be another story. So we are not at that level. But this incident 
could spread into huge uh, anti-French uh, sentiment among the, the five G5 cell countries. And it's, it's a very volatile situation now. And uh, again, Cyril, you're just back from uh, northern Mali. You were there to witness that drawdown from the bases in the far north towards the city uh, of Gao. This is all happening with a French presidential election coming up. So uh, there's a, the calculus of uh, how Emmanuel Macron sells this to domestic public opinion if it does go wrong. It's, uh, it's a very risky time. This is why they are, everybody is very cautious about this. Even the Burkina Bay government doesn't want any trouble with this. The, the headquarters of this new Barkhane definition downsized to, from 5,000 to 3,000, 2,500 men or, and women soldiers, I mean, should be based now in Niger. Niger is, uh, doesn't make some very good, uh, doesn't give some good signs too. So it's a very volatile, domestically speaking too. And the aim of downgrading this operation is was also, uh, I guess, in the mind of the president, also due to the electoral uh, 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 days uh, uh, coming, just because people don't buy it anymore. So it's not the retreat like the American did and the chaotic things we have been experiencing in Kabul. But the fear is that it could be uh, starting to, to become the, the same scenario. All right, something we're going to continue watching. Cyril Payen, many thanks uh, for joining us.